In this video, I want to look at some introductory React, and this time I'm going to add a little bit of JSX or Babel. Okay, so it's a very simple little page. Um, going to these things below here are generated dynamically by React, and they're just headers and divs and such. Okay. So I have the CDNs for, oh, so this code is uh, at, at this URL, in case you want to have your own version. The, I have uh, links to CDNs for the uh, React. And then I, this time I'm going to add another one that is a connection to the to the babel and i'm using uh 18 for the react and 721 for the babel okay and i have some different styling overall the page and then different uh, a class styling and a an id styling and I've done this one before, except I didn't use any uh, Babel. I, and now I'm adding the Babel. And then what the Babel is going to do for us is allow the, us to, when we're writing React, uh, that's going to generate HTML to make that thing that we're generating look a little bit more like regular old HTML. Okay. So here's the regular design part of the page. Here are my three empty containers, and then starts the script, and everything else is script. Okay, so here is my first class that just makes a simple header, but, oh, I should point out here that this is not simply just script anymore. If I just said the tag that said script, then that assumes JavaScript. But we're not just doing simple JavaScript right now. We are doing this sort of Babel edition. So if we're going to use Babel, then our script is not just pure a JavaScript. We're, and Babel is going to allow us to mix JavaScript and HTML. OK. So here is the class extending the React component. We're defining the render. And now we can make we can use some HTML tags. So I can say that here's an H1 tag with the, the words I'm a dynamic header and then the close H, H1 tag. And that's what the sort of Babel bought for us, this ability to sort of make this look like the HTML that will be generated dynamically. So that's that's effectively what's going to be put on the page. And there it is, I am a dynamic header. I am a dynamic header. Okay, but it, Babel bought us this idea to make what we are returning in JavaScript in React look more HTML-like. So that was creating it with Babel and React, and then here we are putting it on the page, establishing, creating this uh, root, referring to this container on the page, the div target one, and then using that root to render the element. Okay. And version two here is the, uh, I made an H2 uh, and gave it an attribute. And so it's uh, angle bracket H2 with an ID equals some ID. And then uh, it's between open and close H1. There's the close H2. So again, so we're making with Babel added to React. We're writing code with something that looks more HTML-like. Now, if you run this page and have your console open as I do, then it's going to say, 
uh, you're using the in-browser Babel transformer, be sure to pre-compile your scripts for production. So this, so Babel helps us, you know, as a coder, make something that's more HTML-like and sort of it's to ease your life as a coder writing, you're using React to make HTML. It allows you to make the HTML look more, uh, to have it, to write something that looks like the ultimate target HTML, um, but it's not the real React. And so they're saying, you know, use a transformer to get it into sort of from Babel to back into sort of pure real React and sort of uh, that'll be better for production if you're interested in sort of making something that's going to be fast, efficient, so on. Okay. So that was the second class. Here's putting the second class on the page. Just create the root and then use the roots. So I used React DOM create root and then I called that div2 and then div2's render. And what I rendered was uh, I'm using, I'm creating an element in React and I'm using that hello2 class that I defined. And then the third one, I'm just uh, adding a, a class. I'm doing two things. I'm putting a, a H3 element inside a div element. And I am also giving the div a class. And so again, my my eight hello three class extends react the react component. I need to say what I mean by render. I am sending a div with a header inside the div, and I am giving the div uh, a class. And then we, even though we're using Babel and we're making a uh, more HTML like code within our Babel. Um, there are still words claimed by both uh, JavaScript and HTML that we have to be careful about and class is one of them. So we don't say class as we would in, in pure HTML, but we say class name and then it will get sort of interpreted as the HTML class as distinct from the JavaScript class when we make it. And then our styling that was based on class, this container class uh, will work as it did. Here's that, that blue violet, is that what it was? Blue violet styling. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you. I had a previous video without the Babel. Now I've added the Babel. It allows you to make more HTML looking code but you still have to be careful of, well, one, to make sure you only return one uh, overall element, though it can contain other elements, but no, you can't return siblings. You need sort of one overall container element or container with uh, things in it. One, I usually say one parent. Um, and but there's still these special words like class that you've got to be careful about. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. Thanks for your attention.